Hey there, podcast fans. Are you looking for a new true crime podcast? Check out Gangster House, the new podcast from Imperative Entertainment. Gangster House has everything. Hospital hitmen, FBI informants, a prison escape, a van explosion, and so much more. I'm Jason Hoke, creator of Gangster House and producer of podcast mega hits, Atlanta Monster, Broken Hearts, and Monster, the Zodiac Killer. Listen to Gangster House right now on your favorite podcast player. This is episode 1,654 of the number one podcast in Apple Podcasts for Job Search. No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm your host, Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. This show offers you a different way of thinking about LinkedIn and how to approach it. Not a complicated idea, not a difficult one idea to follow. Let's try that again. Not a difficult idea to follow, but no matter. I think it's an important perspective to have. Hope you find this helpful and hope you have a great weekend. Let's get going, okay? Now, I wanted you to take a couple of minutes to think of LinkedIn for a moment. And I don't care whether you're junior or senior. I think LinkedIn has fallen prey to its own success. And it has confused people and distracted people from the core of being effective on LinkedIn. You see, most people get the idea that there are recruiters out there who are looking for talent and that their profile has to be good. But it needs to be really good for what you want to be found at. So think, number one, in terms of the all-star level of LinkedIn um, reputation uh, for how your profile is filled, filled out. Because frankly, LinkedIn prefers people who hit that ranking. I also want you to think in terms of SEO, in terms of LinkedIn, search engine optimization. Because LinkedIn fundamentally is a search engine that's searching an enormous repository of database information about people. And how it chooses you, well, No one really knows exactly how it chooses people, but we know that there's a preference for all-stars. We know that there's a preference for people who are active on LinkedIn, and we know well a couple of different things. That if the keywords for what you do are prevalent in your profile, you will be more likely served up. Why? Because when recruiters are searching, here's how they do it. They search by people with a specific geographic area who have a specific, uh, have a or a group of specific keywords in their resume or in their profile. And then they may go to education. They may use the option, which I think is dumb, of junior, mid-level, senior, executive uh, to choose people to actually examine. Once they get the search results, they may do a quick Google search of the individual before actually contacting them. You know, they'll look at your profile. They'll see what your name is. The headline under your name is who you work for. Look for something that confirms the keywords because, after all, you can use uh, – uh, sorry, I'm just making sure I'm telling you the right thing. Yeah, um, Control-F, is it? Uh, I'm just looking at my browser for a sec. They'll use the find feature in their browser to look for the keyword in your profile, especially if it isn't obvious to them, and attempt to confirm that you have that background that they want. Part of the way they're going to measure that is repetition. If it's only used one time that they can find four years ago, like you know, a person I was talking to yesterday who you know wanted to be marketed as a leader or a manager, and the only time that they had really led was about six years ago, they're going to struggle you know, in terms of being found. Now, also, and this is a subtlety, Not all recruiters are using the LinkedIn recruiter product. The LinkedIn recruiter product opens up the entire database of choices on LinkedIn. Some people use uh, lesser accounts. And for you, I also want you to think in terms of how to build out your network. Because when you think about it, you are only able to reach as many people as your first and second level connections in order to do your networking. 
And as a result, you are limited by the size of your network. And it's not just simply the magic 500. And I was, I was reading something about how Reed Hoffman in days of old, when he noticed that people were trying to game the system by just building up their numbers, decided that, uh, on the profile page, they would only do 500 plus because they didn't want there to be a competition for numbers of people. So it only shows 500 plus. You want to get as many people into your network because it opens up avenues of contact for you as you're building things out. And although LinkedIn used to promote itself for the people who you know well, who you want to stay connected with, well, when you're job hunting, you want to go beyond those people. You want to get to people who your network knows who you don't. And with the new LinkedIn messaging feature, which lets you know when people are online, it is but messaging, by the way, is terrific. Um, the old product was awful. This one is a really nice little product. So I want you to think of how you can be found within this database using you know, SEO. And if you're not sure what the keyword terms are that people would use to find you, look at job ads on job boards. You'll start to notice in the requirements area and in the description of the role, certain words, certain terms start to repeat themselves. If you think of your profile in this way, if you start writing for LinkedIn and using the, the blogging platform to get yourself known as well and share that information because it's becomes Googleable. I can't believe I said that word. <laughs> People can find you through Google. <laughs> you will have gone a long way towards standing out from your competition. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few more ways to get more from me. First of all, at my website, which is thebiggamehunter.us, I have more than 7,000 blog posts there that you can watch, listen to, or read that will help you find your next job. While there, if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching from me, you can schedule a session, either a discovery call or a coaching session with me by using the button on the home page that says schedule. You'll see a number of different options. If you just want to have a quick chat to see if coaching makes sense, use the discovery call option. If you want the best of my advice with an emphasis on interviewing, go to JobSearchCoachingHQ.com where I've curated information with a focus on interviewing. If you decide to take a lifetime membership at the site, Basically, what I do is I give you the money back in the form of one hour of coaching with me that you can use as two 30-minute sessions. Thus, the site becomes free. You can also hire me for a resume or LinkedIn profile critique, trusted advisor services, help with a salary negotiation, and much, much more of my website. Like you, I don't work for free. I do charge for what I do. You can also take my classes on Skillshare and become a premium member using the link in the show notes and receive two months for free instead of just the one that the site offers. Skillshare offers thousands and thousands of courses, not just simply mine, but on a host of different subjects that can help you in many different ways. Lastly, join my group on Facebook, which is called Career Angles. It's free to the first 250 members who join and is focused on helping you do better at work. Information is shared daily and we're attempting to build a supportive group there. Ask to join. I'm not letting recruiters in, so it's a safe place and you won't get harassed. And I'll be back tomorrow with more. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Be great! Excuse me, Captain. This is your wake-up call from the new TrackPhone Wireless. Uh, what's that now? What if you had to fly this plane while sitting back in the cabin? I wouldn't have any control. Well, that's what it's like going with some wireless companies. But TrackPhone Wireless gives you control. Hmm. Get unlimited talk and text on America's best 4G LTE network starting at $20 a month, no contract. Plus, unlimited carryover data with active service. That's cool, but how'd you get in my cockpit? This is your wake-up call, people. The new TrackPhone Wireless. Now you're in control. See terms and conditions at trackphone.com.